Hey guys, I'm back. It's so good to be back home, be able to film with you guys again. I've missed you all and I would like to say thank you so much for all your beautiful comments that you guys left me when I was away. I got to read through them and they're all so beautiful. Thank you so much. I had such a great time. I'm so tan now so I'm going to have to mix a few foundations to try and fit me now. Which makes me so happy. Like I just love being so tan. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Don't mind the hair guys, it's a little bit messy today. I slept in my braids and I just want to kind of create that beachy wave look. So I was going to keep them in and then at the end let them loose and get that beachy hair vibes. Because this is kind of like a very summery beachy makeup look. I was wearing this one when I was away. and I did a little bit less makeup I guess. But I do want to kind of be a bit glam beachy because I've already done like a kind of natural beachy look so I know I'm going more more glam but still kind of natural kind of thing so because I'm going in with really like glowy skin today I want to kind of keep a matte base because I can tend to get oily I do want controlled glow so I want glowy skin but it's like in a controlled way so I'm first going to take my 100% pure mattifying primer to mattify my skin and help stop the oil seeping through my foundation throughout the wear the day that kind of thing next i'm just going to take some translucent powder i'm using my laura messier um universal powder i'm just going to lightly dust that over my oily parts of my face so like my t-zone area and just maybe lightly on like anywhere else that i can tend to get oily very light layer guys of this you don't need a lot because a little goes a long way like you don't need a whole like matte powder base because it's just going to make the foundation look cakey and not it doesn't sit nice on the face so just use a little bit so to create the glowy skin which is going to look fabulous i'm just going to go in with my two foundations hoping these two will match me <laughs> i'm going in with my ready set gorgeous um foundation in the shade medium beige and also taking my ex1 invisiwear foundation in the shade f200 and applying these with the Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline in the shade Light Iridescent to create a nice luminous um, kind of consistency, reflectiveness with the skin. I don't know what I was saying there, but I'm mixing these three products together. And now that I'm looking like a warrior princess, <laughs> I'm going to go and buff that in with my Sigma F80 Kabuki. And if I feel like I need a bit more like, luminosity or or coverage in some areas then I'll apply more foundation or of that some of that strobing liquid but uh, believe it or not with the amount of product I have on my face I actually want to go for a more like uh, kind of soft foundation look like um, probably light to medium so like in between of that in between that because I want my freckles to peek through what do you think does that match me pretty well? I think that matches me pretty well. You can always darken it up with a little bit of bronzer, which we will go in with anyway. But I think that matches me pretty well. Duh. That matches my neck like insanely well. Like, ah. Uh, do I look luminous? Glowy? Yes. But I think I'm just going to go in with my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. I'm just kind of helping press that product into the skin because when I buff it in with a brush it's just a little bit fuller coverage than I want so even with just doing this with like a lightly damp sponge it just helps to kind of dispute the product a bit more evenly and takes away a little bit of the product just like a little bit so that it's a little lighter coverage there we go. Now I'm going to bronze before I conceal I think. Just because if I leave the concealer on there without any powder it's just going to crease. I don't have to deal with that. So I think I'll bronze. Oh guys before I forget. Oh my god I got this um, Natasha Denona body glow liquid that I cannot wait to use in this video. I'm definitely going to apply this like all over the body. I'll even put some on my face after I've bronzed and everything because honey this stuff is amazing I use it all the time over like when I was up in Queensland on holidays because I just wanted that glow when I was walking around just getting some of that sun I was like glowing it was just so good I just 
love this stuff. It's amazing. I actually have a few new products that I'm going to use today that I haven't showed you guys yet. And I actually haven't used a couple of them. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to like go in with a cream bronzer today. I'm going to go in with my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick to bronze the skin. I don't think I'll contour today. Like I'm still deciding if I will. So this will for now be like our contour bronzer. So while we've still got just liquids on our face, I'm just going to apply this on. You don't want to apply creams or liquids on top of like a set face. Like when you've powdered, you always want to do it first. So that's what I'm doing. Just applying it wherever I want some warmth or a bit of structure to the skin and of course I'm gonna bronze the neck and bend the chest a little bit there as well and why not do the decolleté just a wee bit <laughs> I mean I'm already pretty bronzed down there uh, my body's definitely more bronzed than my face because um, I exfoliate my face and also I don't like to like leave it in the sun I like to kind of have a hat on or just like kind of protect it because of the UV rays you know how they like age your skin and stuff I don't I just like to keep it out of the sun so I'm just going in with my beauty sponge and I'm just dabbing it on so I'm not kind of bringing it down I want to kind of leave this area to kind of like I said slightly contour so it's like a soft contour this is it's warming the skin up but it's also contouring and the reason why I do it like a on my nose is when you're in the sun you tend to get the most bronze on the part that's sticking out the most so I want to kind of replicate that so I had such a nice time on holidays guys so you guys have such beautiful comments wishing me like all the best for my holiday and like hoping I had a good time and I did thank you so much I had such a lovely time just relaxing it was really nice to just kind of do nothing like I just read lots of books I read like, the code to joy which is fascinating guys if you guys are into like um, you know growth and um, just kind of getting in touch with yourself your belief system and stuff like that oh, it's fascinating I really recommend it I also read how to win friends and influence people and I'm also reading, I read a few books, and I'm also currently reading The Answer by John Asraf and, um, oh, I can't remember the other guy, sorry. I'll write it on the screen right now so you guys know who the other author was. Um, and that is fascinating. It's all about how our thoughts manifest our reality, like, um, we create our own you know, futures and our own reality through what our thought system is, our belief system, all, the, all that. Like, oh, it's so fascinating, guys. I really recommend it. Such an interesting read. And it's all about, like, quantum physics and stuff. Like, I'm not a super, like, intellectual person, and I can understand it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not... I didn't go... I didn't do well. I was always more on creative side at school. Like, I'm very creative. So if I can understand it, guys... You can understand. Like they kind of word it in a way where it's just, it's not going into detail about it all. It's just kind of getting the main point of it. That's just fascinating. Like, oh, it's fascinating. I'm really into that stuff, like personal development and like belief system and, and um, just how our thought, like being being mindful, very mindfulness. I'm very into that. I find that very fascinating, and I like reading about it. So as I was saying, I had a great holiday, so thank you guys for wishing me the best. Okay, so I feel like it's all blended, nice and bronze. We can move on to... Don't want to do concealer. Don't want to conceal. So I'm not going for like a full glam look, so I don't want anything to highlight too much under the eyes. So the closest thing I have to my skin tone right now is my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And it's just in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm just applying it. I'm also prying my lids with it. Because we will do a bit of eyeshadow with this look. I'm thinking of like that glossy lid look. Oh, I look crazy right now. And if you feel like you need to conceal anywhere else, then go ahead and conceal. But it's got that. I don't know. I can just kind of disguise like as a freckle. I don't really mind. I'm not kind of bringing it too much down my face because, like I said, I don't really want to highlight 
even though it is a little bit lighter I might bring some just because this is a little bit light I might just even it out a little bit on the face no that's fine there okay done then just taking my kabuki uh, what's this one? F86 tapered kabuki brush from Sigma I'm going to go and blend that through it's just so good to be filming with you guys again I really miss it. I do miss filming and doing makeup tutorials. I really love doing them. I haven't done one for four weeks. Also, like, because I did them all before I left. Like, I scheduled them, like I said. So I haven't literally sat down and talked to, talk to you guys for, like, a month. It's been so long and it's so nice to get back into it. So before I powder, I'm just going to quickly go in and highlight with that Master Strobing Liquid on like all the high points of my face and I'm literally just going crazy with this. I want to glow, girls. I want to glow. I'm just going to use my beauty sponge to dab it in. I think it's just easier than using my finger. I'm a bit lazy today. I just want to kind of quickly get it on. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love liquid highlighters. Oh, that's all about much. I swear my skin has been really good lately, especially from being at the beach. I think the salt water just really helps it. Because I had a few breakouts just before I left. I don't know, I was just a bit tired and highly strung, so my skin just broke out a lot. But then relaxing, being at the beach, having the salt water on my face a lot, my body just really helped clear up my skin. It was just like, go. Oh. Oh, crap. So this is what the Natasha Denona Body Glow kind of packaging is. And when you squeeze it onto your finger, it kind of comes out in like a, um, kind of, kind of like a bronzy liquid. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this over top for a bit more bronziness. You guys don't have to do this, but like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a glow look. I'm just going to chuck it on my bod as well it's gorgeous it's actually even goldeny almost and I'm actually just going to use my finger to apply this into the skin all over that bronze that we applied down I'm going to blend in I'm just switching to my beauty sponge because it dries quick and it just gives such a golden glow to the skin like the Maybelline one's good but it's like kind of like a lighter glow and I wanted to make it a bit more goldy so it's got that light but like goldness in it as well so if you guys just want to go like with super super glow with the skin, this stuff is so good. So I'm just going to lightly set my face with some pressed powder. You guys can use a loose powder if you feel like that works better. I just want to set like under the eyes, a bit on the T-zone area and chin just because I can tend to get oily there. If you guys don't get oily if you have dry skin, I think I slurred those words. If you don't get oily, like if you get dry skin, then you can probably skip this step, I'm sure, your makeup won't budge or the grease like the oiliness won't seep through but if you feel like your makeup will move then set it it's up to you I'm just gonna take my Eclipse blur powder and just lightly press that into the skin with my Chi Chi beauty sponge but I haven't wet it so it's like a dry sponge and I'm being mindful not to go over my highlight I'm just kind of keeping it to the under eye area so for brows today I'm gonna pretty much just keep them pretty soft because it's like a glam natural look I don't want them heavy or too structured so I'm just taking my LA girl shady slim brow pencil and just kind of filling in my brows how I usually do for like a more natural look I did the same routine in my full in my long wearing makeup look which I'll link up here so if you guys want to see how I do it I'll just you can like kind of watch that video and we have our brows on. So I'm going to move on to the eyes, I think. And then I'll finish the rest of the face. So once I've got kind of like the eyes down pat. You know, dog? You know? So for the eyes today, I think I'll take my Zoeva Caramel Melange Palette. And I think I might just go in with literally just one shade. I'm going to do like that kind of model kind of look where you've got like the shimmer all through, like all over the lid. Like up into the crease. Just because I love that. I don't know, I've just been, I've been watching, I've seen a lot of editorial pictures and I just love that look. I know it's like a rule of thumb that you don't put shimmer in the crease, but, you know, makeup is makeup. It comes off, it washes off. I just think it's a bit of fun. I love it. I was wearing it when I was away. I just love that. I love the look lately. So I'm thinking of taking 182 degrees or liquid center. Like, I'm kind of tossing between the two. 
I feel like liquid scent is probably where I'm at. I think I might use liquid scent. So I'm actually going to start with it like through my crease. This just to pack it down with just a petite crease brush. Oh girl that shimmer is so pretty. And like I said I kind of want to go for a glossy look so I'm thinking of doing I've got this like thing um, like this glossy thing. What is it? It's from Kevin Aquan. It's the Diamond Eyes Gloss. It's so pretty. And with a clean fluffy brush I'm just buffing out those edges. And then on my finger I'm just applying liquid center down. Oh, I actually love that. Do I even want to do a gloss now? Do I want to do a glossy lid? Yeah, I'll do it. Something different. Why not? Why not? But before I do put the gloss on, I'm going to just highlight the brow bone with some of Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. Look how cute this little packaging is. Like, oh. And that is stunning. Look how pretty that looks. It's like shimmery almost. It's so pretty. Oh. It's like that almost. It's like a wet look. That's why I love it. It's so beachy. It's so beach appropriate. I love this look. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. For my inner corners, I'm going to take shimmer shimmer again. I want the inner corners to just be like. And I'm also going to just run the good center onto the eyes a little bit as well. And next, all that's left for the eyes is I'm going to chuck on some mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I just want to kind of make my lashes really long, luminous, that kind of thing. Because I'm not going to wear falsies today. So for bronzer, I'm going to take my Micellin Bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe. And apply this over all that, like all that area where we place the cream bronzer down. So once with bronze, I'm actually going to place some faux freckles on my face before I highlight, just because I don't think it'll mesh in with the highlight as well. So I'm going to go in with my brow pencil that I used for my brows before, and I place little dots on my face, just randomly kind of placed over like natural freckles that I have, and also just create ones. I do more pressure for like more darker freckles, and then lighter pressure for softer ones. Just mix it up a bit to make them look more like natural. So then next I take my beauty sponge, it's just a little bit damp and I'm just patting it over where I placed the faux freckles to help them blend into the skin and help melt them in so they're not just sitting on top but they kind of actually look like they're freckles on your skin. Okay now for highlight which is my so, I'm so excited for this one. So I actually got a new highlight guys, which it's not new for you but like I got, I got a new highlight. So it's the Master Chrome um, Maybelline one and it's in the shade Molten Gold. So it's so perfect for this look because it's a golden highlight so it's going to go well with the bronze. And I'm going to do my technique with the damp sponge so you spritz it with some finishing spray and then just get some of that highlight and pop her right on top. And I'm just going to finish off my face by spritzing it with some of my Urban Decay or Nighter Setting Spray to help lock all this in place. For my lips, I want to give it kind of basic because this is a very natural, beachy, but like glam look. So I don't have anything like metallic or bronzy, which is kind of what I was going for. So I first of all went in with my natural lip pencil from, I think it's from Rimmel, in the shade 049. Then over top, I actually went in with my LA Girl Velvet Bronze Contour Stick to kind of give it that more bronzy effect to it and a bit of glow. And then over top, I went in with my Master Chrome uh, Highlighter, the Molten Gold one, and the center of my lips. <laughs> and then over top, I went in with my Bonjourous Paris um, 3D Effect lip gloss in the shade Rose Romantic and then I just took out my hair so it's a bit like more beachy wavier effect. Anywho this finishes up, finishes up today's makeup look guys. I'm really happy with how it turned out and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. It was so nice to be back with you guys and be able to film and just chat with you. So I do hope you guys did enjoy today's makeup look. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.